The torque and angle wrench from Lejeune offers an efficient and reliable way to execute the combined method. It simplifies the requirements of the method by providing the correct amount of torque to snug the bolt as well as the proper turn required to tension the bolt. Lejeune combines the unique features of the wrench with specially designed TNA bolts to deliver a complete bolt tensioning solution. Similar to other bolt tensioning methods, a pre-installation verification test of the torque and angle solution is the only way to verify that it is creating the required tension in the bolt. This video will demonstrate the proper way to execute a pre-installation verification test so that you can be confident that the torque and angle tightening solution delivers the tension required every time. Before beginning any test, it is important to verify that you have the correct adapters for the type, length, and diameter of the bolt you are testing. In this example, we're testing a 3 quarter inch diameter TNA bolt that's 2 and a half inches in length. Additionally, it has a round head similar to the standard TC bolts, so it should be used with TC bolt style adapters. Once you have confirmed the correct adapters to be used, you are ready to set up the test. Add the adapters to the Skidmore unit and insert the fastener to be tested. Because the combined method requires two separate procedures to achieve bolt tension, pre-installation testing requires that both steps be verified. First, we must verify that snugging the bolt achieves the required initial tension. For a 3 quarter inch diameter bolt, the specification calls for an initial required tension of 16,000 pounds force, or 16 kips. Once we confirm that the snug setting on the wrench is selected, we simply apply the wrench to the fastener and pull the trigger until the snugging action is complete. Record the amount of tension created in the fastener and verify that it meets the required minimum for the test. The next step is to verify the angle required for the bolt being tested. A 3 quarter inch diameter bolt with a length of less than 3 inches requires a 90 degree turn. Adjust the turn dial to the correct angle. It is always recommended to add up to 10% additional rotation to account for tool tolerance. Next, we'll mark the turn on the fastener, showing the same 90 degree rotation. Confirm that the angle setting on the wrench is selected, and then apply the wrench to the fastener and pull the trigger until the wrench stops. It is important to allow the wrench to stop before removing your finger from the trigger to ensure that the complete turn is executed. Using the match marks, confirm the turn execution and record your results in the PIB log. Next, confirm that you have achieved the required minimum bolt tension for the fastener and properly log the results of the test. Successful completion of the test means that you can be confident that the simple approach to the combined method provided by the torque and angle wrench and the associated TNA bolts will deliver the tension required for your fasteners in a reliable and efficient way.